None of us ever want to believe that um, trials could show up in our lives again. We think that we have this one and done mentality that if we have a God who truly loves us, that there's no way that he would ever allow us to go through difficulties after we have just endured another one. But as Pastor Rick said this morning in his message and in God's word, he tells us that we're going to have various trials. But what I love about our God is he also says that he'll be with us through them. I want you to take you back to that verse of Psalm 91, 14, because that verse means so much to me as it did on the river, as it much as it does for me today. And God tells us in his word that if we hold fast to him, that he will deliver us. Now I know that some of you are probably saying, yeah, but can Gail hold on to that verse today? It might have helped her through what she's already experienced, but can it hold fast for her today because now this is her life on the line? Can her God sustain her through all of this? And what I want to tell you today is yes, because the God who was with me on that river is the same God that is going to be walking through me with this. And he's going to come alongside of me you know, I, I love the fact that we're talking about holding fast. And I want to tell you that I was a great example of that. And I, I did that so well. I grabbed a hold and I wasn't letting go. But honestly, that wasn't the truth. You see, there were times after Aaron passed away, I started listening to the enemy. And he started filling me with lies. And he said, Gail, did God really say that he would protect your son all those years at school. Did he really say that he would help you now? Because you were going through some of the most deepest, darkest waters. And where was your God when all of that happened? And so I started listening to these lies and I started listening to these schemes. And what happened to me is I wasn't holding fast to God anymore. The rope that I had held on to, the hope that I had in Christ, slowly started loosening from my hands. And when I got to the end of that rope, I had let go and what I found was not what I was looking for. I found more confusion. I fell into a, a pit of anxiety and even more grief because I had let go of the promise that God would be with me that he would deliver me, that he would rescue me, and I let the enemy steal that from me. But then God, in all of his righteousness, and all of his mercy, and all of his grace, he reached down and he grabbed a hold of me. I didn't deserve it. It wasn't because he thought, well, this girl had enough, let me just come to a rescue. He came to me because he loved me, and he was so real, and it was so powerful in my life that not only did I grab a hold of that rope that day, but I'm here to tell you that I, I, I clung to that rope. I grabbed a hold of it tooth and nail. I wrapped my legs and my arms around it, my teeth bit into it. And I haven't let go of that promise that God would still be with me today through this trial that I'm facing. I don't want to face what I'm facing. I don't want to go through chemo. I don't want to lose my hair. I don't want to see my family struggle. But one thing I know is the faithfulness of our God. And I know for a fact that if I hold on to him, then I'm going to get to the top of the rope and I'm going to see from the mountaintop a different picture. The trial that I'm facing now, I face it with a bit of excitement and that might sound so dumb to your ears but let me tell you something every time i'm able to meet with a doctor or someone in, in a practice the place of chemo god has given me such peace about this whole situation that he has enabled me to lo almost look forward to being able to share Christ with others. 
and they kind of look at you like you have two heads because they don't get it. But then something inside of them all of a sudden just clicks. And they're like, wow, there's something so much bigger and so much grander than what we see. And I can see their wheels starting to turn. And it's not because of what I did or how I can react to this circumstance. It's because of who God is in my life. And it's because of the strength that I give, I, I, I receive from Him, you know. So many people will say to me, oh man, woman, you are so strong. And I just want to laugh and say, no, if you knew me, I am not strong at all, but my God is. And my prayer for you today is this. Do you believe that He's making a way in the wilderness? Do you believe that He has something so much greater for you? Do you believe that he has purpose? Do you believe that he has come to reclaim your life for his glory? Because that's why we're here. And I'm standing here today to tell you that God is the God of all my days, my good days and my bad days. But I will never, ever let go of the lifeline that he has given to me because I know it's on the other end and it's not pretty. But everything that we have in him is beautiful and perfect and worthy to bring him honor and praise with our lives.